we're gonna do a little video here we're gonna do a little video uh, on on this issue here I posted yesterday we're gonna do a little video here and then I'm gonna visit the police station of Novo Mesto again uh, but here is here is the deal uh, I don't have to be very very detailed about it um, this is the message for the NATO this message foremost uh, I would be in this situation right now actually I am angry on Ukraine at this moment I am very angry at Ukraine at this moment uh, but I understand that Ukraine did not have any choice other than to take whatever was offered to Ukraine now <clears throat> On the other hand, if I was a NATO official uh, and if it would have happened to me that I would not be acquainted with the uh, issue I will be discussing with you right now, if I would be a European Union member, uh, politician, I would be deeply disturbed with this information I'm about to give you and would go and would file charges against Ukrainian and against Slovenian governments. Basically, it's a short story. France and NATO turn Slovenia into Iran, Belarus, and or South Korea. Kick it out of European Union and out of NATO was the message I posted yesterday. Then I posted the figures next to that message, which demonstrated that Slovenia did not contribute anything. Slovenia contributes 1.29 to NATO. Uh, the expected fee for the NATO member states is at least two percent of GDP and I pointed out that Slovenia is of the lowest ever contributor to the Ukrainian cause uh, if you look how wealthy this country is uh, if you look at GDP of the country it's about the Czech Republic it's about the Spain it's about, it's about Poland you have all this you have all these tables, you have them right below, you have them uh, and you have them here uh, you can see that Slovenia is actually a really really wealthy country isn't it? that's really really wealthy country, you know the problem in Slovenia is not poverty or anything like this, it's not that people would not have money the biggest problem that country can have is that when people have too much money I don't actually I don't even find one here so I, I I did not do a job good when it comes to this Spain Slovenia is here look at that I mean if you look at if you look at if you look at this you have wealthy country down below that these are the wealthiest countries in the world folks the wealthiest countries in the world and Slovenia is somewhere in the middle of it, you know. Wealthy country, extremely wealthy country. Um, now, if you look at how much Slovenia allocated to Ukraine, and then you have another table. Yeah, it's actually, it's explained. There's a 0 0.08 in, uh, in terms of billions of dollars. 0 0.08. That's like... I'm going to say like disgustingly nothing really I'm going to say for considering itself as a, some kind of a Slavic country Slovenia uh, Slavic pride worldwide uh, <laughs> brutally 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 nothing and I did all I possibly could obviously to help Ukraine but I am not going to be helping Ukraine like this uh, I am not going to be helping Ukraine like this. If you pay attention to Slovenia, also 
doesn't want you know any taxation on a Chinese made vehicles you know that China contributed sponsored financed Russian war in Ukraine and supplied Russia with uh, military weapons parts etc etc I should say parts I shouldn't say military weapons let's 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 be official according to the media and yeah, let's just say parts yeah no, parts um, it's like this this lady here Tanya Fayon this lady here explained to me that this will be the issue she admitted to me during MK Ultra when they went over the table, they calculated. That's why this is really important for the NATO and for the European Union member states. Uh, on how to deal with the Ukraine and on how to deal with Slovenia, if they did not disclose this issue. This issue was involved in MK Ultra. Chances are that Slovenia did explain this view to Germany, Italy, France, Britain and others and goes the same with Ukraine. The chances are that you were acquainted with it. But just in case if you were not acquainted with it, uh, Tanya Fayon, in front of Ukrainian politicians, Vladimir Zelensky included, to me, uh, some politicians were not, some politicians that were present, uh, and others that were not present during explanation, signaled me. Uh, reminded me like indirectly what really fucked me badly in the eyes of NATO people and inside of the European Union uh, member states officials um, not that I would worry about that stuff because most likely this stuff that's why I'm saying the most likely this stuff was done with their permission on their behalf so they would have excuse against me for crime uh, so it was discussed the issue of assistance to ukraine and this is just another curse they did and me possibly and possibly it's more uh, if it's if it's just possibly or if it's possibly more it doesn't matter because the charges I'm going to lay against Slovenia are going to involve enormous financial lawsuit against this country. So, one or the other, therefore, NATO or Slovenia, European Union, has to say, you are fucking liable for this stuff, for what is done to me. Uh, stated to me like this, talking about Tanya Fayon, we will not give Ukraine military help. You're right. Uh, we will not give any kind of uh, financial assistance, almost any kind of financial assistance, because every country prorated in this Illuminati meetings how much they're going to give, what they're going to give to Ukraine. But there is one thing we will do, and it was Loise Peterle involved in it, Rupel, Jansha, they all knew about this issue. Uh, one thing we will do is we will heavily instead invest into Ukraine once the war is finished. And it seems to me that this type of crime, it goes beyond corruption, it's really, really a crime, appealed to Ukrainian side very well. It was okay. That means that Ukrainian apparatchiks uh, whatever you want to call them, have their own financial interests in it. They wanted the money through the corruption, obviously. Obviously, it fit them because it was for the special interests. If it wouldn't fit them, they would play fairly to what everybody's saying. Now, the Germany did something similar. Germany declined to pay to NATO as required for I think like two decades Germany was just like we say in Slovenia Spritzanje uh, it would just not pay the money basically that is owed you know uh, the fee was catastrophically low uh, but it was 
German officials who assured me that they will, however, compensate uh, if necessary uh, whatever country the war is going to be affected by the Russia. German officials knew there will be a war on Europe and most likely that was reserved, as everybody knew, for Ukraine or Baltic states. So Ukraine in this case. In other words, Germans wanted to make sure that the money that would otherwise be allocated to the NATO is actually definitely allocated to the country that is in need of the money when time comes. Now, uh, there are different countries in Europe, of course, anywhere from France to Italy, don't did not allocate as much money to Ukraine as Germany did. Um, and Germany allocated the money that otherwise should be allocated to the NATO, like I explained. And these countries instead allocated more money to the NATO. So you have different kind of concepts you have, yes. But Slovenia was trying to do something different. Uh, Slovenia just tried to stash the money inside of the pocket, basically have all the parties kill one another. And when the job is done, basically just possibly also in the pockets of Ukrainian politicians. That's why it's your job to find out about these issues. It's a widely discussed issue uh, as far as the Slovenian politicians and as far as the Ukrainian politicians. You bet this was the deal. And this is not the deal that anybody is going to use to depict me as a hypocrite, as somebody. Pollocks tried the same shit with the South Korean purchase of fighter jets. Uh, then uh, South Koreans tried to fuck me in the same way uh, by, you know, demanding from me during NKUltra to acknowledge that they're going to fuck the Polish side that's going to be only partially distributed to them, number of planes, and the rest of it also is going to be like it is, as long as they get the down payment and, you know, then get into the confrontation, heated conversation, court, whatever, never fucking see your money, another war comes, whatever, in that sense it was. So, for me, it's very, very important for you to know that I have absolutely nothing to do with that type of crime. And I don't really give a fuck what you do with Ukrainian or with the Slovenian officials as such. For me, it's just important that you keep in mind that Slovenia did not supply Ukraine with almost any kind of assistance, uh, have robbed NATO with a membership for which fees did not fulfill it's it's a bit sickening when i think about that when i think about where the money is allocated the, the money is from slovenia is stolen basically it's elite that are stealing money and investing one abroad in other countries such as china india uh, africa south america i don't know where uh and uh you know portraying to the people in Slovenia the whole thing is just as it is uh, everything in a negative sense hey it's a, it's a Europe it's European Union it's a NATO I don't give a fuck about people in Slovenia as I started to this video in Slovenia the problem is not lack of money or poverty in Slovenia the problem the biggest problem this is the biggest problem any country can face is too much money it's a, it's a society too fucking wealthy. This is where the problem in Slovenia is. That's where they really, really you have stuff happening that everything comes on a surface that for what really the nation is. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to, for you to uh, acknowledge that I don't have anything to do with it. Um, I propose to kick Slovenia out of the European Union and out of NATO. Uh, in fact, on my website I am proposing that Slovenia is not even a legitimate state, even a legitimate country, for which you already have agreed even at United Nations with it. 
I would not be discussing that topic, but it was Natasha Pierce Musser Kuchan that were obsessed with the idea about what to do, how to use me even further to turn me against the Slovenian nation, people and so on. There's no need for that. There is no need for that. Um, Slovenia inherited this case, which started at my age of three months under the Josip Broz Tito, Yugoslavia. When the Slovenes drove me, they delivered me to the Belgrade. Slovenian people did. It took absolutely no responsibility whatsoever once Slovenia became independent in 1991 to resolve this issue. They instead have intensified this genocide procedure into poisoning, breaking spine, destroying items uh, through the postal services and so on, blocking me from justice at the European court, involved every fucking government in the world, anyone corrupt criminal minded into this genocide against me. So that's all there is. Thanks for watching this video. Slovenia have a lot of money. Slovenia has a lot of money. Uh, Slovenia is a country that I'm not going to say did not learn its lesson. Uh, Slovenia is a parasitic country that parasited itself on me. The crime to become even wealthier, to advance itself even more, and have absolutely no conscience, no regret, no responsibilities of any kind whatsoever toward people that, while well, accepting the human rights around the world issues, Slovenia doesn't give a fuck about its own native. That's myself here. So, Extremely, extremely wealthy country, extremely, extremely wealthy country, country that does not know what to do with the money. It's too bad. It's too bad to have a member country like this and not give her ultimatum to pay the money owed uh, and or kick her out of European Union, out of NATO. It's too bad. It's too damn bad. And I hope the best for the Ukrainian officials. Whichever way, I don't care about the stuff like this. When it comes to the stuff like this, um, whichever way, 